Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about Post Traumatic Stress Disorder, commonly called as PTSD. I am Dr. Suresh Badadmit, Professor of Psychiatry, working at Nimans, Bangalore. Before I start my presentation, I would like to place the disclaimer. The disclaimer is, this presentation is for academic and training purpose only. This is not a substitute for professional clinical opinion. For professional clinical opinion, please do contact a psychiatrist. Let's discuss about the neurobiology of post-traumatic stress disorder. Whenever there is a trauma or a stress which is pursued by the brain, immediately hypothalamus recognizes the trauma or stress and sends a impulses to the pituitary to release adrenocorticotropic hormones. These hormones in turn will contact with the adrenal glands to release stress hormones. They are cortisols, aldosterone, epinephrine basically catecholamines. These are very essential for fight, for flight or to freeze whenever there is a stress or trauma to a situation. At the same time, brain also controls sympathetic system and parasympathetic system. Sympathetic system is very essential for fight or else flight. That means the body should be ready. And whenever there is epinephrine or else norepinephrine is released, there will be increased heart rate increased breathing that results increased oxygenation sending increased glucose to the muscles to fight flight and also increased oxygen supply so these are various response are required to fight or flight for the survival of the human or else the animal imagine in ptsd what happens this alarm fight flight freeze alarm becomes super sensitive that super sensitivity of this alarm will trigger off unnecessarily for internal cue or for the external cue or else for the internal stimuli for the external stimuli that results in triggering of the whole event again and again that means emergency alarm is at fault that emergency alarm triggers and relieving the trauma occurs repeatedly for the person imagine you have met with an accident and recovered and if you develop PTSD, you will be relieving those, the accident many times in an hour. How it will be? It is a very traumatic. That is the reason post-traumatic stress disorder is very, very disabling condition. Hence, because they relieve, they start avoiding those cues. It may be internal or external. At the same time, because of relieving, there will be altered emotion, altered cognition and altered behavior. That basically in PTSD, Alarm becomes super sensitive in the brain. Let's understand from the neurochemical perspective. Uh, whenever there is a trauma and stress, serotonin is released. Catecholamines like dopamine, norepinephrine, epinephrine will be released. Cortisol will be released. Amino acids and peptides like GABA, glutamate and uh, neuropeptides will be released. Further, there have been neuroimaging studies done in the recent one or two decades. MRI, PET MRI, and also SPECT have been done and even functional neuroimaging has been done. Those studies clearly said that PTA, patients with PTSD showed altered cerebral metabolism and perfusion, receptor bindings and also the metabolite profiles in the limbic region, medial prefrontal cortex, putamen, caudate and temporal cortex. That means whenever there is a severe traumatic event, the brain changes occurs. That has been documented and there are various meta-analyses which have been recently published. Moving further, these are the areas involved that is prefrontal cortex, anterior cingulate cortex, hippocampus and amygdala. And these studies, meta-analyses have clearly said that they causes various cognitive dysfunction from the prefrontal cortex, basically working memory, thinking, cognitive process and attention and there are various genes have been implicated. Moving to the hippocampus. Memory consolidation is a problem, difficulty in remembering the important events of the memory or the event of the trauma, maintenance of the memory will be a problem, short term and long term memory will be a problem. So, and again, some of the genes have been implicated. Moving to the anterior cingulate, decision making, impulse control and COMT gene has been implicated. Amygdala with regard to that, emotional and behavioral regulation has been done. So, again, there are various genes have been implicated. My dear friends, PTSD is a biological concept. And to summarize the whole thing, whenever there is an environmental stimuli and the brain perceives it, 
and emotional valence basically positive or negative trauma is recognized and degree of the severity of the trauma is seen stress activation occurs that is hpa axis activation occurs autonomic nervous system activation occurs human human mediation occurs you mean immunity also changes because of the trauma gene expression occurs moderating factors will be seen memory state trait and genes expression occurs and this is the whole thing has a biological concept although disaster is a, a normal person in abnormal situation whereas in ptsd the whole human being has been traumatized because of a traumatic event and that causes various changes in the body from the brain to various parts of the body and to summarize my dear friends impact of trauma on brain this means traumatic event triggers cascades of events altering the physiology of our brain body there will be gene expression increased neurohormonal secretion and hyper excitability of the brain which results in various symptoms of ptsd which causes disability in the human to conclude my dear friends ptsd is present in all culture across various countries across the continent and it can be easily diagnosed using dsm-5 ptsd is a biological construct with severe traumatic event having a direct impact on the brain and also on the endocrine system and human system early diagnosis and the treatment is the only way to address the ptsd do not forget to address comorbidity differentiating with with various other disorders thank you very much for your valuable time stay safe